In this video, we're going to create a gross area plan, add area boundaries, and look at how we can use area type to calculate different types of areas. I'll start by going to the Architecture tab, finding Area, and selecting Area Plan. From here, I need to select my area type. We're going to use Gross Building and the floor that I'd like to create it based on. I'll select Ground Floor. I'll hit OK. And a view will get created with a boundary that's already in place. And what I could do is I can modify this boundary to suit the needs of my project. For starters, this is an outdoor area that needs to be captured. So I'll go to Area Boundary, and I can draw this a number of different ways. If I have a wall or a bounding element that I could use, I can use pick lines. Or I could use the simple draw tools like line and rectangle. In this case, I'm going to use rectangle because the shape that I'm trying to create is a rectangle. And what I'll do is I'll just delete the overlapping line. From here, I can go to area, select area, and then place it in the enclosed space. Now, what I need to do is I need to check my area type. So when I select the area, you can see in the properties palette, the area type is set to gross building area. Well, this is actually an exterior area, so I'll change the type. Now I can go ahead and I can set the areas for the rest of the boundaries that are created. So I'll go to area, select the area again, and put it in the first one. This is a gross building area as well, so I don't need to change it. This is going to be an exterior area. So from here, what I could do is I can change that type to exterior. And same with this one here. When I place the area, I'll change the type to be an exterior area. Now we can take a look at what that looks like in an area schedule. So I'll go to the area schedule, gross building. And you can see that based on the way we have this schedule sorting, that we have our ground floor areas for exterior areas, and then we have our second floor, which was created previously, and our ground floor area that we created all totaling up. With a simple switch in my schedule settings, I can actually have it calculate based on each of these as well. By just adding the footer to the sorting type, which is area type here, I can have it calculate what the total area for each of these is going to be. Another way to create an area plan is by creating a rentable plan. A rentable plan is going to give us a little bit more detail, and I can break it down based on things like major vertical penetrations, like shafts and stairwells, building common area, like maybe this ground floor lobby, or just the general office area, which takes up most of the floor plate for this building. We can also look at that in a schedule form. And we can see how much of the building common area, major vertical penetration area, and then office area is being used in this project.